Hello and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today we're going to be making the base for a simple platform game. Now this is going to be um, a little bit more complicated, so hold on. <laughs> um, I would not suggest this for people who are new to Scratch. So first let's make our sprite, paint it, bitmap, that's actually pretty good. Okay. So, let's start with an on flag. And then, for this platformer, I'm going to want it to start. Move. Move with me, buddy. Right here. So, then it will go... So, then let's tell it to go to this position at the beginning. Um... Make two variables really quick after deleting this variable. I don't know why they made a default variable. Make one of them called XV. You can actually call this whatever you want. I'm calling it XV and YV. So at the beginning, you want to set both of these to zero. So XV stands for X velocity and y velo YV stands for Y velocity. So now get a repeat forever function. The first thing you want to do at the beginning is, um, well, if you want it to have a costume, you do that. But then change, you change, um, you want to change y velocity by negative one. Um, this ensures that you fall, <laughs> which is kind of sad. After that, you want two if statements outside of each other. This will be left arrow and right arrow. You can find that under the key block. I'm doing this kind of fast because um, I'll get I'll get into it later. Anyway, um, and when each of these are pressed, you want to change the x velocity by one and negative one. You can change this number to make it slower or faster, but I'm just going to go with this. Try to type um, a p instead of a negative right then. Um, <laughs> made me feel kind of stupid. <laughs> After that, you want a set x velocity to x velocity times 0 0.9. This will just make your sprite a little more manageable. That's my preferred number. You can do whatever you want, but it makes these it makes these numbers whole, the ones that are left and right arrow. Um, so that makes it a lot more simple. Um, next, um, sorry, I'm going through my video notes right now. Um, next, you want to Right under that, um, change x by x velocity. Eh, stop. Well, actually, okay. You see it can move now. Um, and also switch these because, right, <laughs> left arrow is the other way. Um, so, um, the, the next thing we want to do is add four if statements. So add if, then if, then if, then if, then if. Hang on. So yeah, now ooh, I missed one. So um, now in each of these, stop. In each of these, um, we want to um, we want to change y by one, not y velocity. Change y. So make this one, and put it inside of each one of these, like like this. Stop. This thing doesn't listen to me. I think. And then, um, so that's what you put in the first four, and in the final one, you put change y by one, um, change x by x velocity times negative one. Oops. I did change x, in, or set x instead of change x. Um, change x by x velocity times negative one. Uh, 
if you can notice, I'm not actually looking at that. I was checking to see if my mic is recording. Um, so, and then after that, we want to change y by minus 5. So now, put this in here. Um, now, we're going to have to make a level next, just to make it make a little more sense. And we're going to have the platforms be black. You can do this a couple different ways, but I'm going to just do it this way. It's the most simple. So, oops, undo, let's make this short, and fill up the whole thing, maybe a little shorter, <laughs> so that falls. Let's just add a couple of random platforms around here. And this um, script does not include wall jumping, which limits you, I think, in a good way. All right, let's just make that for now. Um, let's go back to the program. Now, in, in, in the if statement, get touching color and make it the color of your platform. I made it black just because it's easy to make. You can also click the thing at the bottom and then click on something on screen. Every time I click on it, it does that. So now, underneath this, we want to change y by y velocity. Sorry. Gosh, my, my brain is like fried today. Now, get an if statement, and then say, um, so now, if touching this color again, um, if touching this color, then change y, change y by y velocity times negative 1. Underneath that, set y to zero. I mean, I mean y velocity. Um, and then um, under, underneath that, you want to change y by one. Or why can't I do this? So you'll notice that issue, it's moving up one. Um, did I misprint this? Sorry about that. Negative one. Then you can move around. Um, so um, underneath that, we want to add... Um, so this will go at the end. So now... If touching so now if it's touching or I guess we can just duplicate this and then um, if it's if the up arrow key is pressed oops whoopsie then it will set y velocity to some number. Let's call it 15. Pretty high jump. Oh, and then... <laughs> so you'll notice that it isn't jumping. So what we need to do is put this right here and put change y, vel y v, or not y velocity, y by one. 
So now it can jump. So the reason I'm doing that is because it's not actually touching the color since it's moving up according to the program above it. So that's the only issue with it. Um, and also, I'm not refilming this part. Um, that was just my mistake, but it's also a good learning opportunity. So now you have a sprite that can jump around. That's pretty good. Um, um, I'm going to make multiple tutorials, um, but um, this is just going to be... Um, I'm, I'm going to show you how to switch levels, and then I'm going to be done for this tutorial. And let's see, that's color 17, and then that saturation. Okay, now, oops, we need to make this transparent. And then underneath this, make another if statement. And if touching color yellow. And, to, and for this one, we do want to do this, so we can just click on this, and that will set it to that. If touching color yellow, then we'll make it switch the backdrop to next backdrop. And then if we draw one more level, just for fun. Oh, and also underneath this um, code, after it switches to the next backdrop, make it go to its starting position. Scroll down. I said scroll down. Scratch doesn't like me today. I guess I have to do it Microsoft Word style. <laughs> so now we don't need to draw anything. Um, and also, you want it to switch to the first backdrop at the beginning. And then let's just pretend that I drew a level on the next one, the blank one. Um, and you'll notice it has ceiling detection as well, so you can't just jump on something that's on top, jump through something that's on top of you. So now you see I go back to my starting position and I just fall. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I will see you in the next one where we'll add more interesting terrains and a little bit more complicated stuff. But that's all for this one.